Welcome to another episode of the Rim World series. Almost at Junzine. Um, there's been an update. I haven't looked at what all is involved with it, but when it comes to the mods, most of them are already up to date. There's a couple that aren't. So hopefully there's no problems. I've just leaving them be <laughs> and hoping that they don't cause problems. So we'll see. Uh, and then I believe I ended off saying that I was going to test weapons to see which ones I preferred. I'm only like partway through doing that, so <laughs> can't report my findings yet. <laughs> it looks like we've had quite the battle. It's everyone taken care of in stable health. Stable and stable. Okay, we're good. Got some repairs to do. We've got caribou here. Who I don't think we wanted to join unless they were in danger. I don't know what these are from. Probably that update I didn't look into. <laughs> Alright, I'm looking at the patch notes. First off, they've added a bunch of things that, uh, when you're making a game that allows you to change a bunch of settings. They've got new building destruction, which will be cool. We don't destroy much in the way of buildings, though. Ah, they've added new sound effects. Windmill. Oh, yeah. They've added ambient sounds to things like the windmill, wood generator. Added a bunch of stuff to the DLC. Oh, they've added a jump pack. Single person boost rocket for short ranged flight. I don't know if that's a DLC or anybody can have it. I think I did watch a video about this from the developer about a while ago. Because the update was like the 11th of August. So Certain things like furniture and stuff can both boost beds well they've added more so like sculptures can be enhanced by nearby sculptures and graves can be enhanced by nearby graves. Ooh, I think they changed this uh, little pop-up you get when you hover in a room. Yeah refined room stat readout. Neat. Oh they've removed naming animals through nuzzling. Animals only get names by bonding or if given names by the player so you can implicitly tell which animals are bonded by seeing which have names. Interesting. So all the way we named our cats before doesn't work anymore. Uh, changed the threat text color to a lighter red for better readability. Applied it to more text where it makes sense. That'll be interesting when we see something pop up if that will notice a difference. This actually is a huge update. It says it shouldn't make a difference in the game but uh, I'm kind of surprised with how much they've added. How are these people doing? We'll have to start letting some of them go soon, I think. No wood. Erm. Not being able to cook because of that. We've been slowly expanding this out to include more and more area. <laughs> Maybe I'll make some of these um, end tables in here. Just trying to think of ways to use up this um, iron wood. <laughs> it's just taking up so much space. That and uh, our fertilizer. Ooh, we have a minor break risk. What's up, Abbott? Uh, serious pain, has no office, unsightly environment. I wonder if it was here or somewhere he was a minute ago. Ooh, we have visitors arriving at Seaside. They're afraid to enter your colony for the following reasons. No guest beds. You can send them away and they'll stay in the area. <sighs> Come back later. Um... Oh, I... sure. So I'm going to ensure safety and then I'm going to release these guys and then try to make this into not prisoner area. Who would do that? I don't know that I can make them do that though. I'll up it to number one priority. Thank you Skippy. Thank you Sienna. And we're done. All right, and then we'll change this to not prisoners and for guests. Who we're getting some pretty good friendship here. Enemy now neutral. Uh, the relationship with the the union has warmed. They now consider you neutral and will no longer attack you. This happened because we reached zero. If it falls negative, below negative seventy five, it'll become hostile again. All right. So that's because we released all of those people. That was definitely to our benefit. And we have our visitors coming in soon. 
Ah, they're here. Two? Are you the only guests? Yep, just two of them. So they'll be pretty happy because there's a lot of beds. Trying to get our bedrooms with some floors. It's been a while. Oh, Sienna needs treatment. Oh no! Our um, makeshift fuse went out. Which isn't very good, but it did stop us from getting a fire. Though always preferred. May have some problems with um, power for a little bit, but... I went ahead and got the Taylor bench set up correctly. Uh, I had not updated the numbers, so we did, wouldn't have had enough clothes. Uh, and I've also changed it so that um, it's only counting things normal or, and at a good percentage so that I can start slowly working up to making them wear nice clothes so that they aren't wearing like low quality stuff because I think that changes their like they're happier if they're wearing better stuff or it does better stats or something. Not sure which one it is but <laughs> I'm also not entirely sure why this isn't getting built. Because I was able to build the floors. So I don't know why they did that before the fireplace. I've also went ahead and had everybody change into their warm weather clothing. Since it's almost summer. I imagine it's nice out. Yeah, it's like 70 out. So they don't need to be wearing parkas and winter hats. Oh hey! Our guest is helping with research. I think one of... Oh. Alright. They were absolutely amazed by your hospitality. They'll visit again. They gave us 70 rice and 60 lizard skin. Thanks. We'll just stick that right into the cell area. <laughs> Building some beds for the cats and dogs inside. A good use of the bird skin stuff, so. Yeah, we've got visitors again. Uh, people of Barga are visiting the colony. Hello, you two. So we've got two idle people. It's crazy. Sienna, plant cut, grow, construction, and then Redwin. Kind of the same setup, <laughs> actually. Well, I guess I'll expand this out to include more trees then. They could be hulling these. Ooh, no space? No space, okay. So I'm going to clear the shopping area to include just this spot. <laughs> And then I'm going to put a stockpile here and I'm going to make it for fertilizer because it's closer to the garden. There we go. So that will should clean out at least three places in here. Is there a reason this isn't getting done? Ah yes. Okay. So how many Marble. So this needs 80. So I need to increase this to like a hundred. So now that should get done. We've got a quest. A nearby settlement has a special trade request. You, they would like to purchase 22 button down shirts of normal plus quality. If you want to make this trade, send a caravan with the requested items. Oh, and then we can decide what we would take in return. We could have somebody join us. Not really worth it. Uh, then we could get a plasteel statue, charge rifle, rocket launcher, and jade, which is worth more than what we would be giving them. And we would get for 42... Um, goodwill. How long would we have though? Seven days? I don't know that we could produce 22 shirts in seven days. Like I've been trying to wait for these guys to produce a couple of these things. <laughs> like it's been days and they've made six or something so I don't think I could do that. And I don't want to try and end up having like 20 shirts because I didn't make it in time. We've got a transport pod crashing in. Uh, a logger named Lobster is crashing nearby. If he survives, he'll be badly wounded. He's from your enemy, Covenant of Trobo. Capture him for recruitment or slavery purposes. He is in our yard. Okay. Uh, so we do have the guests. 
Apparently they don't pop up until they've claimed beds. Um, oh, this is unknown. All right, prisoner. And then we will... What do you got on you? All right, clothes, I guess. I'd like your pants, though. I guess we'll strip them. And then... It's gonna come do that. I think. Uh, can you capture him? And then what's his health? Three hours. Okay. Five. All right. Oh. Saved him. We'll go ahead and reduce resistance just to get our people better at talking. Offended? Who did that? Is that you, Abbott? Would you stop offending the guests? He's friends with Alan. Alan doesn't seem to think of him as a friend, though. Insulted. Action imprisoned me. Are you still upset about that? Good lord. Negative 29. I think it's supposed to eventually go away, but... It seems like it takes a very long time. I could understand if it was you got that really big negative if you captured them as like someone who's walking through the map or something like they did nothing for you to imprison them and you just capture them but like he attacked us first <laughs> like I don't know what to tell you <laughs> yes all right so you'll has been done. You can turn sand, marshy soil, mud, marsh, ice, and gravel into farmable soil. It also unlocks the plow soil. Uh, and I think that's um, even better than the naturally fertile land. So I think the rich is 140 and then plowed is 160. So finally it's better. Unlike the garden soil, which I thought was better, was not. Um, so we need to get a digging spot or some dirt. Let's go with like right there. Uh, add fill. Dig soil till we have, I don't know, 10. And then we'll start reclaiming this area and we'll turn this into our garden. Another wild man wandered in. A person living among wild animals has wandered into the area. He's called Huffman. Hello, Huffman. Is Caribou still about? You guys are gonna be friends now? Got a bite mark. Ooh. Uh, he can't do dumb labor, though. But he's a good cook. Social. Greedy jogger. Mm. It wouldn't be the worst, but... Let's see, is Caribou about? Or did he move? Yep. There's Caribou. He's doing alright. Been better, but... Look at this beautiful tended area we're getting now. Uh, they were absolutely amazed by your hospitality. She left nine mead, 22 eggs, and two wood. Thanks. So once we get this right here, this is where like mud and stone was. Once this is to regular dirt, we can start fertilizing it and making it into garden and cloud. So I think you can go straight to this. I don't think you have to go. I think you used to have to do garden soil, then plow, but I think you can just skip that now. Yo, our fireplace has been finished. Yay. Oh, we got some masterwork. Marissa has created a wooden chair of the masterwork quality. This furniture is engraved with the illustration of a skunk suspended in the air holding a pike. The image is bordered by a group <laughs> of artichokes. The style is surrealist sur surrealistic <laughs> with heartfelt elements. Oh. So when it's art, so once they hit the masterwork, go to art and you can see the description of it. A violence. Very nice. But yeah, this should keep this room a good temperature. And we can also um, turn it off so that it's um, not necessarily heating it during the summer. There we go. So yeah, now it won't uh, be heating it. 
but when the winter comes that'll be uh, quite the benefit. Also built up a second set of table and chairs because we have more than four people nowadays. <laughs> I think we've run out of fertilizer. Oh no! Didn't see that coming. Uh, caribou is hunting lady for food. Um, okay. Let's do that. Bastion. He can fight. Let's go ahead and head in. With those three, hopefully we can handle this. Let's go ahead and get over here, lady. I need you to attack him. Human revenge. Caribou is attacking after being harmed. It will calm down when it sleeps, but I don't think we're gonna have that option. All right, lady, let's go. Okay, keep shooting, lady. All right, freaking caribou. Hey, Ben said hi to him earlier. <laughs> All right. Uh, how are you doing, Kirk? You should be just bruised or something. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Oh, we don't have anywhere to put him. I don't think. Let's do medical. So if we capture them or rescue, rescue. Ah, and then Sebastian, you're free to go. We we got it handled. Apparently, they can't hunt like deer. They only hunt smaller animals. Though he could have gone out there and gotten this berry bush or something. Didn't have to try to eat lady. Leading out in four hours. Billion, where are you? Around, all right. 17. All right, we'll see if he survives. <laughs> all right, so we have um, inspiration for Sienna. Ah, retain, she can tame the next animal regardless of difficulty. Good. Um, so I was curious about uh, his relationship with Kirk. I will get to that. Um, and it is plus one because it was small talk. So that greeting is the only thing that actually is any benefit because he heard him, but he rescued him and they they cancel each other out. So yeah, he doesn't hate us all that much. That's good. <laughs> Weird, but you know, it works. Uh, Arius, yes, I didn't expect that would be much. So there was like this little kind of looked like this, but right here. And I, I figured this little gap was going to exist here. So I'm glad it was what I thought it would be. Nothing too big. Sometimes you can dig into one of these and it'll reveal an area and it could be this huge hole in the mountain. I actually had one where I based almost a whole colony on it. Because it was like one of the first thing I, I did was I discovered it. And so I had like my garden inside this mountain stuff that so was like super safe. So this is going to be our garden area. This will be obviously the garden. And then here is the um, steam geyser. And until we can use the energy of it, I'm going to use it to heat our garden in the summer or winter. Not in the summer, certainly. Um, so that'll be a huge benefit. We won't have to use the, the fire or anything. If anything, we'll have to leave the doors open so it doesn't get too hot in there. And then I've cleared out this part of the mountain so that we have a quick path through here to get to this because it didn't seem like a good idea when we're being attacked to have to go all the way around. So just a little shortcut right there. Okay. <laughs> a lot just happened. So first, major break. Caribou's not doing very well. News. Caribou joined. You're th he's thankful you rescued him. He's decided that rather s he'd rather stay than leave. I just joined your colony. I didn't think about the fact that he could potentially decide to join us <laughs> when I decided to rescue him. Just didn't want to to prisoner because I didn't have any place for him. So, uh, all right. Um, 
those. He lacks a gun. He's unhappy nude. But he's getting clothes right now. He's hungry. Undergrounder. Indoors. Ah, so he likes doing that. I remember saying I wasn't all that interested in him joining us. Ah, okay. I mean, he's not bad. I'm excited that he can cook. Alright. So I guess I will be getting him set up. So let's go ahead and release them. And then that'll be his bedroom, I guess. Ah, the tropa went up because lobster uh, went out healthy. Finishes this beer. Alright, you cook that and cook that please. Give you some weapons. So is he in the dark right here? No. I decided to put a light in here because I think they're they work at a lower speed if they're in the dark. Right, right. I guess I won't see. But I think they do. So I decided to put a light. Just because I want research getting done quickly, please. I might uh I guess put the wood floor in here too. Start using up some of the ironwood. Wow, look at the red one go! Wow! She flew through there! Maybe I should make this, uh, also. A doe self-tamed. Uh, is now designated as doe one. Alright. <laughs> what am I going to do with all these animals? Uh, farm animal? Because a doe doesn't do us any good. Except for maybe to, um, have in the winter when we're low on food. And I got this finished being built up and I've now included it in the home area so they'll continue repairing that kind of area. And then I've cut out all of the trees because I don't want them accidentally hitting that when they should be hitting our enemies. I'm gonna go ahead and build a roof over that part. Not build- yes that's why we're cutting down trees. Ta-da! Um, I've got one foam popper here. If we could get another one, I'd that would be really great. Um, so we'll see if that comes up sometime soon, and I could put that in here somewhere, so that when they fire, or throw in like fire grenades, it can go off and protect our people. I also think I might need to put a light in here, because I think before, like I said, the darkness affects their abilities to do certain things, and I think that, um shooting is one of those things and so which is funny because it seems like if we our people were in the dark and the enemy was in the light that would be to a bigger benefit than the other way around but I don't know that that's how the mechanics work so I might need to put some kind of light in this area so that they can see so uh, I think that might actually have to be it for this episode I was trying to wait for a raid but I've been waiting for an hour and a half and we haven't had one we have had a lot of guests and surprise joins. We now have a deer and a caribou. <laughs> um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.